Hey, it's Brett and Tom here with Lawrence Systems, and this is our morning coffee talk. Um, yes. So many times, Tom and I have conversations in the morning, pretty much every morning, about topics. And one of the topics we were talking about the day is how we blame others and, and putting that blame on somebody else. And it was funny because we are very process oriented in, in this office and we, we, we follow a book of processes, right? So we, we talked about check the process before you blame others. And it's yeah. really simple because Tom talks about a story. Tell your story about what you've dealt with in, in the past. <laughs> so working in the enterprise and corporate world prior to having this business, this goes back, you know, 20 years ago. One of the things that the CEO of the company, and it was other managers repeated this as well, is anytime someone would say so-and-so didn't do something, the first question was always, show me in the process where they failed. Mm -hmm. We were a fully... ISO registered company, which means we had flowcharts and processes for every procedure that needed to be done, whether it was an accounting procedure, a mechanical procedure related to the fact that we're in the transportation market, or even my department, which was running all the technology. Everything had to be documented in a process and procedure. So I could give this to my staff. And if I said someone wasn't doing something, the first before you could ever report them to HR was always what step didn't they follow? And then sometimes you would realize that step didn't exist. So you give this mm -hmm. feeling that they're, oh, I guess I kind of got to document their job. So I'm mad they're not doing their job, but their job may not be well documented. And it, there are cases when they are documented and that makes it really simple because you can point, hey, you missed step two. You just have chose not to do it. Or when you just have a role and a series of tasks, like these are the defined job roles you have. So there's no, this isn't my job. You have it defined. And then they're insubordinate because if their job was to do a task that was on that list that they signed, well, that means now you have something that you can, you know, do this. It makes it actually easier for the employee because employees, generally speaking, like to know what they're doing, like to know what is or isn't their assignment. That way people understand, you know, the task that they're supposed to be focusing on and proficient at. And uh, it makes it easier for you because then you also have a very defined whether or not they're doing your job is whether or not you defined their job properly. Right. There are people that will, there are some people that can just do something. You say, hey, I need a couple things done and they will work independently and get that done without even having a process. In fact, they will create their own process in doing something. And there are people that need that defined. They're very linear. They look to, okay, do a, you know, they're looking at step one, step two, step three, step four. And, right. and they need that. I know we document a lot of things in here. We have job descriptions for our level one, level two, and, and everything that we do within Lawrence technology services. But it's still sometimes there's that break in the process and and we shouldn't really be blaming that person if that break wasn't defined. I mean, you know, you know it it happens so often that we we tread these roads and we find that a process is broken already. We just didn't know it because we hadn't used it in a long time or things change. A process yeah. like a business plan is a living, breathing document. It's got to change. It's got to flow with the way you do things, you might find a different way of doing things. But back to blaming others, look at the process. Did they follow? Did, were they following what they did? Were supposed to do? Did they have that defined process? And what can you do to assist them with that? It, it, leadership is important in this. Having yes. good leadership to define what people are and aren't doing in, in their daily job, and what you did wrong as well. I've developed a process that didn't work. And I've done that <laughs> numerous times. And, Sometimes and, you have to look at the employee not following the processes because you did something really intangible or confusing to them. And one of the other pieces mm -hmm. I really want to mention is as an entrepreneur, I really want you to think about this. You are not someone who follows processes. You're more oriented to someone who creates processes. People who are entrepreneurs just kind of run and do things, which is right. fine. That's why it makes it so hard when you're hiring someone because you're trying to figure out why they don't think like you. And so it's it, it becomes a challenge for entrepreneurs to go, well, I told them to go do the thing and they weren't sure how to define it. Well, as an entrepreneur, you were building a business because you're good at defining roles. And then even if you're not actually running a business, the entrepreneurial mindset where you deal with a lot of tasks and you just figure it out is usually what rolls you up into being management versus an employee as well. So if you're watching this from that perspective, that's something else to think about is mm -hmm. you start defining what's around you going, oh, I know how to just assemble all this. And that's usually how you work yourself into a leadership role. Whether or not you actually are an external entrepreneur who starts a business, sometimes I think that's oversold. You can still do that internally for a company. I've even 
often heard the word thrown out there to entrepreneur for someone who works that yep. honestly it's just a management role who is able to define things and able to take those fuzzy things but you got to remember you as an owner if you're especially if you're hiring for some of the more basic tasks you may or may not find that and some people just aren't oriented that way they deal very strictly with processes that have to be given to them. They walk in not knowing what to do or not coming up with their own ideas on that. So you have to deal with both personality types out there because it's not like as easily defined as you may think. Right. Check that process before you blame others. That's the yes. key takeaway from this today. Yes, that's the whole thing. And none of this is easy being Brett talked about these things. I've been in business 17 years. I worked in corporate before that. Brett's been around longer. <laughs> so <laughs> Yo, wait a not much. He's a little, he's a little grayer, but <laughs> but it, not much. But he's the same thing. I mean, this it's not we talk about this stuff from the our years of experience that shared with you, but I never want to um assume that this is as easy and it's how we got here. It took lots of uh, failures and iterations, but uh, mm -hmm. always define the process first, you make your life better. And thank you. <laughs> That's it. Hey, have a good morning, everyone. Have a good day. Enjoy that week. Make processes happen. Make them happen. Thanks. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.